Over the years, I have discovered that one of the hardest parts of building your brand is actually knowing exactly what that freaking means. As a brand strategist for over eight years and having served hundreds of clients through the branding process, I wanted to take away the mystery around what we believe here at Brain Mary is required to build an authentic, aligned, and money-making brand online. In today's video, I want to share with you my signature Build a Better Brand framework. This is going to break down the five crucial steps that you are going to need when building your brand online. Now, today's video is really helpful for anyone who is building their brand from scratch. Maybe you have a business idea in the back of your mind and you're getting started going through the motions. This is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of energy scouring the internet. But this video can also be incredibly helpful for you if you've previously built a brand but feel like something is missing. So many of the individuals who come to me and work with me in my programs have a brand established, but it's just not working. And when we dive into it, eh, we often discover that they're missing a few of these crucial pieces. So today I want to share with you a recording from a webinar that I did. I've condensed it down to cover the framework for you today so that you can walk away really understanding exactly what you need to build your brand and maybe what might be missing from your existing one. If you want to get a PDF download that goes through this entire process, I have linked that below in the description. But let's get into my Build a Better Brand framework so you can create an authentic, aligned, and money-making brand. The Build a Better Brand framework is what I'm going to share with you today. This is my signature branding framework. Let's break it down step by step. Also, shout out to my son who's obsessed with Legos the whole Lego situation is prominent right now. So the first phase of the branding framework is your story. So at this stage, the emphasis is on identifying your strengths and transitions and experiences to ultimately define your niche and format your profitable brand story. So this is really the foundation of everything that you're going to create. Profitability comes from your specific niche and by using your story, you're able to define your expertise easily and then incorporate it into your brand as a whole. So really getting in touch with who you are, your values, your mission, uh, the strengths, your expertise, your experience, all of that we want to uncover so you can create a truly authentic brand. Now, I'm going to share a lot of stats with you today. These are stats that are available online. Many of them are available through um, Slacka, which is, you know, a, a company that does a lot of uh, marketing statistics, but 81% of survey consumers said that they need to be able to trust the brand in order to buy from them. And one of the ways to build trust is to show up authentically online. Where does authenticity come from? Knowing yourself, understanding your story. 90% of consumers say that authenticity of content is the most influential factor in becoming a follower of a brand. So remember when we talked about how your brand impacts your content? Well, content matters and it helps convert people from just followers to actual buyers. And the more authentic you are, the more likely you are to convert someone. So your story plays a role in all of the different aspects of a successful business. Now, phase two is knowing your customer. So identifying the deeper layers of your ideal customer, who your brand is going to support, and doing the research to better understand the multiple facets of who they are is key. And that's what you focus on at this stage. So the knowledge that comes from deep ideal client market research will impact your messaging, your copywriting, and your overall marketing strategy. It allows you to build a better connection with your ideal customer and allows you to create copy that converts, which is key. So once we understand who you are and your story, and we can weave that into the brand, then we start to think about who are you wanting to work with? Who is your brand ultimately for? And we start to get to really know them and their story and weave that into the process as well. The third phase is messaging. So in this particular phase, what you're wanting to focus on is consistency. So crafting messages that represent your brand as a whole, not just the individual offer that you are creating. So a lot of people start creating their brand around an offer. When I am 
asking you to do is wait to create your offer and create a bigger brand, an umbrella brand, because that allows you to pivot if necessary, create additional offers, um, make changes as needed without having to go through a complete rebrand. So this is important because consistency builds trust with consumers online. When your messaging is consistent, it will be clear to your ideal customer who you are, what your brand provides, and how it can ultimately support them. So consistent presentation of a brand has been seen to increase revenue by 33%. So just by having consistent brand messaging, those con that consistent feel throughout, you're able to increase your revenue by 33%. I will take those odds. Now, the fourth phase is all about designing that offer. So up until this point, we haven't even talked about your, your offer, what people are paying you for. We are focusing more on who you are, bringing that into the brand, understanding your ideal customer, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, what they desire, what they struggle with, and then creating messaging that connects the two. Now we're thinking about, all right, what is the offer that you can give that person to support them on their journey? So building your core offer and your signature framework is what is very, very important at this stage. And determining the pillars of your offer, much like what you're seeing today, will allow you to monetize consistently. I can take what you're seeing today and I can create one program. I could create multiple programs. I could use this in another program where they you not only learn your branding, but also your marketing. So having a framework really is essential because part of the branding process is figuring out what you're going to monetize. You want to get paid, don't you? It only makes sense to craft a signature offer that you can scale with your brand over time. And then the final phase is all about connection. This might be one of my favorite phases. So at this stage, the emphasis is on building an emotional connection with your audience. Studies show that we make purchase decisions based on an emotional connection. So you want to determine this while you're branding so that everything flows through in all of your efforts. This is important because choosing colors, choosing fonts, elements, photos, etc., can be really overwhelming. But if all of you start to choose all of these pieces based on emotion, it actually makes it a lot easier. Color psychology. There's a whole emotional psychology between the fonts that you use. If you know how you want someone to feel, it'll help you choose the photos for your branding. So starting with this connection piece with these emotions first and then choosing those brand aesthetics truly is key. And here is why. Maybe one of my favorite stats from Harvard, 95% of purchase decisions are made subconsciously. Okay. People aren't coming to you just to solve a problem. Now your product, your service, it needs to solve a problem because that's what they're looking for. But their decision on whether or not they invest in you and your brand is happening on an emotional level. I hope that video is really helpful in breaking down exactly what you need to create your brand online. As I've mentioned, we take a very different approach here at Brand Mary. I want to make sure that you are creating an authentic and aligned brand because it truly does matter online. No matter what you're selling products, services, or if you're moving towards more of the creator or influencer type of business, showing up and being your most authentic self and oozing that into everything you create is so fundamental. And now you know exactly what you need to do. As I mentioned, I have a free PDF download that you can grab in the description below. But if you are ready to take the next step and build your authentic brand, then I invite you to join me inside of You Branded. You Branded is my self-study course, which follows this exact framework that I shared with you today. It has served hundreds of clients in building their brand online, and it can be done in as little as two weeks, which is the sweet spot. You can obviously go at your own pace, but we love a good program that allows us to get our brand up and running and move into marketing really quickly. If you want to get more information on You Branded, you can head to brandmary.com slash youbranded, and I've included the link below. I will be back with another video very, very soon. Thanks for joining me today.